Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you what you're getting inside the package of the Ishin Tyro 99. I actually had this kit for a while and I didn't find the right time to review it but yesterday I noticed on my coupon list that there is a $20 off coupon which means this kit is sold for only $79 and the coupon is going to expire tomorrow so I thought to myself that this is a good opportunity to show you what you get inside and also a good opportunity to tell you that the coupon list is constantly being updated directly by Banggood so in case you're not aware of it you can find a link to it in the description box down below. By the way, I just received the Ishin Tyro 79, which is the smaller version of the Tyro 99, and soon I'm going to feature it in a build video. The numbers 79 and 99 don't stand for the wheelbase of the quadcopter and stand for the price of the kits. And the wheelbase of the Tyro 79 is 140 mm, and the wheelbase of the Tyro 99 is 210 mm. Inside the box, we can find stickers, the aluminum side plates for the frame. A battery velcro strap, zip ties, five sets of Racer Star bi-bladed 5038 propellers, a battery bottom plate and landing pads, heat rings, a bag that contains the replaceable carbon fiber arms and the other parts of the frame, a 90 degrees MM6 to RPSMA antenna connector, a pagoda antenna, an XC60 battery connector and all the required connectors for the flight controller, a 4-in-1 30 ampere BLLES ESC. It supports diaper batteries between 2 to 5 cells and it comes with a pre-soldered 25 volts 470 microfarad capacitor. On top of the 4-in-1 ESC you can find an F4 flight controller. It's running Matic F405 firmware, comes pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.5.0 and it's using an ICM 2602 32kHz gyro. Next we can find a pretty simple CMOS FPV camera. A 40 channels VTX with a selectable output range of 0, 25, 200 and 600 milliwatts and by the way it does not support smart audio. A bag with all the needed screws and spacers, two carbon fiber wrenches and the very famous Ishin AK47 and finally four 2206 2150 kV motors which can handle LiPo batteries between 3 to 5 cells. So this is everything that you're getting for $99 or actually $79 if you're going to use the coupon code and by the way I am going to try to talk to Banggood and see if they can extend the expiration date of the coupon at least by a couple of days. At the first glance I can tell you that these are definitely not the top of the line products. For example the quality of the motor wires is very poor and they're not using silicone wires. In addition the quality of the camera is not great. But you have to remember that the total cost of this kit is less than $100 and for example it costs about the same as these four motors from Flywoo. So if you're a beginner and you want to build your first racing quadcopter and you're also a little bit on the budget it seems like a pretty good option. In addition it will also require you to do a very minimal soldering work and as far as I can tell the only thing that you will need to solder is the motors and the battery leads. Finally, before placing your order, you should still keep in mind that you will need to get a radio receiver, a radio transmitter, like a batteries and a like a battery charger, and a pair of FV goggles if you would like to fly FV. I'm going to include in the description box down below a couple of affordable options, so if you'd like, you can check it out. In case you would like me to feature this kit in the build video, please let me know in the comments section down below, and if there's going to be enough demand, I'm going to try to do so in the next couple of weeks. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this kit or any of these parts, feel free to ask it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.